Minnesota Public Radio is sponsored by Coors Banquet Beer. It is a beer stubborn like the Ponderosa Pines and the Rocky Mountains. Only a real man drinks this beaver-pissed brewed beer. Coors, the banquet beer. Coffee and cigarettes. <sighs> Welcome back to Coffee and Cigarettes. My name is Lip Turd McDouche. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the collapse of Venezuela through socialism with Senator Bernie Sanders. Hmm. My guest today is actually not Bernie Sanders. You're next week's guest, Chris Collinsworth, to discuss the decline of the National Football League. Uh, what's going on over here? Now here's a guy who clearly cannot schedule his guests correctly. Al, are you saying this? This radio talk show host was the bell of the ball at Chattanooga University, but now he clearly can't transition to the pros. Hey, Daddy! Hey, Chris! I think I might have messed up the schedule, but damn, Chris! You looking good with your silver foxy ass! Well, Cheyenne, clearly you're showing us that uh, you might not deserve to be on Minnesota Public Radio. I think we need to, uh... Hey, Daddy! If you got a problem, you're gonna have to take it to Bleach HR. I'm sure they would love to hear about my boss harassing the single mother who makes minimum wage, Daddy! Alright, I, uh... I suppose we'll go on with the show for now with Mr. Collinsworth, and I'll talk to you, Cheyenne, later about HR. Chris, welcome to the show. Now, here's a girl who knows how to climb the corporate ladder. You see, intern Cheyenne, what she did there, Al? <laughs> she pulled the classic protected class status to threaten a white male with HR reporting of an event that never really happened. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> we should uh, probably get to our topic of discussion, Mr. Collinsworth. What are your thoughts about former President Hugo Chavez bringing socialism to Venezuela in the early 2000s? Now, here's a guy who came up the ranks when he attended the Venezuelan Academy of Military Sciences. They say he formed the first chipmunk taxidermy club at the academy. Hey, Al, eventually, did you see this? He gained support and became the head of the club of basket weaving. Now, most people don't know this about Chavez, but he was the head of marketing at Chuck E. Cheese in the late 80s, which gave him the skills to be elected president of Venezuela through brutal propaganda techniques that can only be learned at Chuck E. Cheese. Here's the kicker. Here's the kicker now. Chavez clearly could not build a good offense, so he decided to turn to socialism, Al. And Venezuela is now a socialistic country, with the hopes of getting a first-round pick in 2019's draft. Mr. Collinsworth, I am not sure that is correct at all. In fact, looking on the Wikipedia page here, the only thing you have correct is that he attended the Academy of Military Sciences in Venezuela. What, what are you talking about? Now, here's a country who elected Victor Chavez, or is it Hugo Chavez, eventually made them a socialist government. This formal government did work with Venezuela for a few years, Al. But the main reason was because of the sharp rise in oil prices that we saw in the early 2000s. And as many people know, Al, Venezuela, like Russia, has their GDP eggs in one basket, a.k.a. oil. <laughs> uh, well, Mr. Collinsworth, that actually was pretty insightful. Uh, wh- what else do you have to say about this uh, phenomenon? All right, now here's a recession in 2008 that correlated with a sharp decline in oil prices globally. Al, what happened to Venezuela in 2008 was like what happened to the Green Bay Packers when they lost Aaron Rodgers last year. Just a total season collapse. Wow, Mr. Collinsworth, I am thoroughly impressed with your analogies from the NFL to the current situation in Venezuela. No, it gets better. Socialism caused Venezuela to get butt-fucked royally, like what the refs did to the Dallas Cowboys with the Des Bryant no-catch call. 
so then the Packers can go to the NFC Championship. But I love Aaron Rodgers just like how I love Tom Brady. Now here's a country where cannibalism, Al. Fucking cannibalism could eventually happen. So how can Venezuela fix their current problems, Mr. Collinsworth? Now here's a country that needs to fire their leader, Nicholas Maduro, much like the Packers need to fire Coach McCarthy. Then Venezuela will have to bring back capitalism, kind of like how the Vikings brought back a relevant offense with Kirk Cousins. But I like Aaron Rodgers more than Cousins. <laughs> Uh, Chris, I noticed that you seem to have an infatuation with teams like the Green Bay Packers, the New England Patriots, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Don't you think that's a little biased for the other rest of the states that have NFL teams and fans? Uh, here's a guy named Chris Collinsworth who gets paid by NBC to announce football games. I lost an apple pie baking contest to Al Michaels. Now, the rule is, is I have to be homoerotically obsessed with Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. Well, you kind of sound like Dick Vitale and Mike Krzyzewski. Maybe you should switch to political commentating because you clearly are one of the worst NFL commentators in history. Although Joe Buck, I still think, is number one on that. Join us next time for Coffee and Cigarettes where we will be with Bernie Sanders discussing, well, I guess the decline of the NFL, but you still probably won't give a damn.